Hello and welcome to Miniature Motion. Viewers, you must have seen videos related to space. One cannot imagine the joy of going to space and seeing the whole world. But going to space is not for everyone. In today's video, I'm going to tell you about the unusual experiments done in space. So, let's begin. Growing plants. Viewers, plants can be grown on any land in the world. On Earth, natural soil, water, oxygen, and everything is there which grows the plant. But what if you try to grow plants in space? Well, astronauts have been trying to grow plants in space since 1974. According to scientists, it is not possible to take all kinds of food in space, which can be eaten for years. So if it happens that vegetables can be grown in space, then oxygen will be produced and food will be available. From 1974 to today, plants are getting better and better in growing in space. First of all, for this purpose, a special jelly is used instead of soil in the beginning which provides water and nutrients to the plant. For space gardening, plants are kept in special chambers in which they are taken care of with tools and lighting. Many experiments have been successful to grow these plants. This is really amazing. Liquids in space. Viewers, when you drop a liquid on the ground, it spreads everywhere. But what if a liquid is dropped in weightless condition? That is space. According to the scientist, this experiment was very important because its results will help make future spaceships better. The experiment you are watching was performed by an astronaut, Thomas Pesquit. He filled water in two capsules in the International Space Station and started rotating it. This liquid was moving in a very odd way and became very thick. Apart from this, if it is left open, it looks like magic. This water keeps floating in the air. And the thing to think about is how astronauts wash their hands and face. And even more irritating thought is what they do in the washroom. Dizziness. You must have done this at least once in your childhood that you must have roamed in a circle. And after that, it is not possible to stand still. Because after so much roamed, there are severe dizziness. But this does not happen in space. All the astronauts in the world go to space. They have severe headaches there. And this condition is completely normal because the human body is not used to living without gravity. According to scientists, in the beginning, the brain gets confused by going into space. But after just two days, the brain gets used to it and everything becomes normal. Tim Peake is an astronaut who went into space and experimented that if the body is rotated in a circle, will it feel dizzy? Tim kept rotating in the shape of a ball for two minutes. His partner kept rotating him. If this is done on the ground, it will be worse than dizziness. But in space, humans do not feel dizzy. Speed in space. Many of you must have seen space stations moving in space in different videos. If not seen, these space stations seem to move like this. It looks like they are slow, slow crawling, and the astronauts in these space stations also feel absolutely peaceful. Whereas if something is going fast, then a person feels force. The fastest jets in the world also run at a speed of 917 kmph. But do you know how fast these slow-moving space stations travel? Well, their normal speed is 28,000 kmph. It sounds unbelievable, but it's true. In fact, the Earth below them is traveling at a distance of 8 kilometers in a second. Astronauts do not feel this speed because the air on the ground stops jets or anything coming from any speed. Whereas in space, there is no air. So they do not feel anything. Fire. Viewers, each of us can collect a few woods on the ground and set it on fire. But have you ever thought what would happen if you try to set fire in space? Is it possible? Well, scientists did many experiments to find out. They tried to set fire using different fuels in microgravity. They wanted to see how fire behaves in the upper atmosphere from the ground. For this purpose, a special unit was prepared and sent to open space. This experiment was named FLEX, and its result was really unbelievable. Instead of setting fire in space, it became a jelly. But when astronauts lit a candle inside the space station, the candle caught fire. This floating fire was really worth seeing. Vision in Space Life of people going to space is very challenging. Only those people in the world can go to space who are strong, healthy, and brave. But this strength does not come from building muscles through bodybuilding. It takes a lot of courage. Some time ago, scientists noted that astronauts who go to space, their eyes are getting weak. Many astronauts complained about this. Actually, this disease was not present before. But as these astronauts started spending more time in space, their eyes get weak. When they experimented on it, they found that this is due to the presence of more weight in the human eyeball and the fluid flow. So far, scientists have no solution to this problem. 
but research has been going on for many years. Boomerang. Boomerang is a toy made of wood. Its shape is such that when the user throws it, it comes back to it. Many times, this wooden device is also used as a weapon. Astronauts decided to check this boomerang in space. A Japanese astronaut, Nori Shigi Kenai, completed this task. Instead of a wooden boomerang, he used a paper boomerang. Its purpose was that this device would not damage the parts of the space station. When Kenai threw it, it went in the other direction instead of coming back. And of course, the reason for this was the lack of gravity. But at least they tried it. Perception of time. Einstein had presented a theory that the faster a person travels, the slower time. Astronauts spend a long time in orbit, so when they return to Earth, they are younger than the people on Earth. But another question arises, how do these people know the time in space? On Earth, we can set a clock by giving local time in any area, but this is not possible in space. According to the astronauts, it is almost impossible to predict time in microgravity. A few months ago, scientists asked astronauts to use different simulations to predict time. No result has been found so far, but astronauts are trying to solve it with the help of visual clues.